So guys, um, welcome to our video. Uh, it's been a while. Um, uh, if I've done anything, um, I'm just gonna do the dahlias. Uh, I lifted them. I lifted them a couple of weeks ago, actually. Uh, but because of that high winds that we had, and uh, it caused a lot of damage. So I've um, been rather busy uh, clearing up fallen trees and that, and uh, other damage that's been caused. Uh, so I've got to the dahlias today. Um, just try and create some room. I'm just going to wrap them in, in newspaper and I'm going to use this old crate here uh, and I'm going to store them I'm going to store them in the coal house the coal house I've got let me just see if I could put you down just a little bit more there they go um, I've had to stick these up higher this today because I don't have uh, Obviously, I've had to take all the room by doing this. So this is a dahlia bucket, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean uh, some of the soil off them. Try and clean some of the the uh, excess soil off. I'm just trying to find that okay. I'm not going to take all off. I'm just going to. Take majority off and, and clean it up. See something like that, just anyone's that are kind of loose, just see that one's kind of snapped there. So, with my scissors, I, I craft, uh, I've left my safety tears in the house and I'm just going to trim these roots as well. Just trim all these roots, see all these little dangly roots. Just gonna that's what I'm gonna do. It's been pretty cold over the last couple of weeks. The temperature is it's pretty cold in here actually, but um the temperatures varied in the areas, certain areas. Um, I don't have a temperature gauge in here, so I can't uh, can't tell you how cold it is, but it's cold. These are the dahlias I grew for uh, seed. And there we go. What well, should kind of look like? Now I'm going to get the compost area. Uh, Newspaper, just any newspaper, and I'm just gonna just go stick it in there. Just like that. And that's one. I don't think I'll not. I, I won't get them all in in that bucket, but uh, in this. But I am. Um, I'll try. I've still not finished the uh, the flower bed the flower bed uh, video yet. Yeah, I've still got a little bit. I've even uploaded the videos yet, so yeah, I've still got to edit them as well, so. So you try and get some of the soil off, you don't have to get it all off, just the majority of it. And then just trim back these uh, roots. It makes it easier to sit in there. What I'll do is, I'll take that as I'll just do that. And I could grab it easier.
This one is kind of been damaged there, but it should be fine. You know, just screw this screw up. All the bows are no good because uh, oh, there's a big slug. It's been living in there. <laughs> So you just not off as much soil as you could and then as much as you could to the soil. You could put these stories in actual uh, compost. Um if you've got the room you could store them in old compost, dry compost. Uh, but I don't have the, I don't have the room to do it, so, so it's the only way I'd do it. Just this, it's a slow process, man. With the dahlias as well, you can, you don't have to lift them out the ground as well. You can actually keep them in the ground as long as you give them a a, a couple inches of compost on the top of them, just to stop the frost from getting to them. And um, you could lift, you could put them there as long as you came where they are next year. And as I say, I won't be putting these back in the same place. So that's why I just left them in there. I could have left them in the ground and just covered them up. Probably should have. It would have been a better idea. <laughs> Save me doing this. But I don't mind. Quick, I get this done. So quick, I can go back into the, the warm. So there, there's a tumor there that's kind of let's say rotten. So I'm just gonna take that right out. Continue to clean. I won't do all these on camera. Um, I'm probably going to do a little video. There's a few wee rotten ones in here that I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Um, Here we go. Oh, there's a one. So there's what, um, there's about five in there already. Um, 
the bucket is pretty few, so um, I'll try and do as much as I could. But what's left, I might just, I might just stick them in a pot and stick compost in it. Cause I do have compost there. I just stick the compost in it and uh, I say I just trim all these little roots off. Any of the bottom ones you could just cut off and uh, um, so what you'll find is this when there's store it as well, uh, sometimes off the lot some of these trimmers will rot and it's just a case of doing the same thing again as um, um, the video for the garlic's been on the channel for uh, a few weeks now so if you want to look at that, then um, it's there to look at. Uh, it hasn't popped through yet as well. It hasn't germinated yet, so hopefully it's not rotten. Hopefully it isn't. Really, cause that's say uh, my first time doing garlic, so hopefully we're okay. Some of these didn't have a lot of soil on them, like, but hey. Uh, as I say, it's just a case of, um, if I could get this done the day, then it, um, it says you need to come out of the shed, because this shed is cold. <laughs> I do have a log burner in the corner there, but it's, um, it's still brand new. Yet. It's not been it's not been set up yet. Still got the flume in that too. But yeah, and stuff. So some of these days I will probably use again in the garden um, but do it differently and I've taken on a few more gardens as well so um, I've been busy up there as well yeah doing Doing some gardens up there. That little one it's all broken, so I'm just gonna chuck it. Sometimes you have to sacrifice some things as well. If it's too damaged then there's no point in keeping it because it just gets diseased and it rots and you end up with losing all them and um, worst thing when you come to take them out and then you've got one that's all rotten and you put your fingers into it and the high not very pleasant it's like totties and you've got a totty in your totty bag that's a uh, rotted and you can smell it but you can't find it until you <laughs> put your hand in it. So I say it's just a case of getting as much of the soil off as you could. 
Um, you're not going to get it off because uh, you could damage the, the tumour itself. So uh, you get what you get off it. I say so just trim back these little uh, sucker roots. These will regenerate, so you don't have to worry about if you cut them right off. Um, and also, if you break a deal, yeah, if you break one of the tumours off, um, I'll try and show you. I did have one in there that, that broke. So you can't. It won't uh, regrow. So um, you have to chuck it. But you need a part of the, you need a part of the stem. Want it to uh, regrow. I've just stuck three in this one because. I was going to wrap them in, if I had a, if I had a big enough crate, I was going to wrap them all up and then in between it I was going to put chainsaw shavings in between as well to act as an insulator but I don't have a big enough crate so uh, I'll get that. Next year I'll get a decent, a bigger crate and be able to um, be able to uh, store them there. Uh, but I'll not be not be picking the seeds off them next year. Um, because I've got tons of seeds in the house that I've collected off these ones. So. I'll not be seed collecting these dahlias again. They're nice dahlias, all different colour. A range of colours from yellow to white, uh, red to yellow, orange and yellow, um, purple and yellow, pink and, pink and yellow, I think there was one. So there is a fair, they're just a mixed, mixed uh, colours. Just a... Uh, Clean up with some of the soil off these. But this actual compost. You could you leave it on. So there we go. Uh, how long are we? We're on 19 minutes, that's alright. I'll do about 45 minutes and then um I don't want to do long videos because then um, they take forever to upload and my editing skills are not the best <laughs> yeah, which I'll have to try and improve because the videos for the flower bed I need to edit them because one of them is an hour, an hour and a half I don't even want. You see, this is pretty full now. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try and stick some on the top, and I'll. Uh, I did have a cardboard box. What I could probably use is that polystyrene box actually over there. 
um, the play steering box for, that I use for the leaks. But the only problem is, is uh, um, I can sort that out there, uh, is the room. There isn't much room in the, there are a lot of stored on. Um, yeah, I haven't got them to hang. I haven't got them to uh, to hold the shelves in there yet. So yeah, I have stuck stuff back in it just to know uh, to just to create some room in my shed because it, the shed was pretty. It's pretty few in my shed. Eh? stuff so I've still got a few videos to upload as well uh, to YouTube and um, that I haven't uploaded yet I've still got a uh, the uh, growth thing the Oh, what's it called again? I can't remember what it's called. It's the propagator thing. The propagator that I bought. I've still got the video for that to upload. Um, also, it's got in it, it's got a, a couple packets of seeds that I've bought. Uh, hopefully, you can hear with the birds. I'll be the next time I'll be getting dealt with <laughs> buds. Uh, near at the end actually these days, so I might get the mod done. Because we're only on like 22, so. Right, so uh, this will probably be the last video um, I'm doing the new until over to after Christmas and uh, the, I think we'll start the video again uh, this is just a video that I was supposed to do ages ago um, but never got around to doing it due to the weather yeah but I'll definitely be starting making videos after Christmas uh, maybe January, maybe about January time will be the next time I'll be making a video and it'll probably be the starting of the sowing of the onions so that'll be the next video, the onion sowing That'll be the next day, uh, can you video for uh, the new video? So, the onion sewing, and it'll be probably by the near the end of the month, I'll probably be doing the sewing, the first sewing of the uh, cabbage and. Um, and the this first one of the cabbage and say cauliflower and the broccoli. I'll do the next day. Uh, video after that and I think the next one will be just be
Well, there'll not be any videos at the plot, I don't think, until near the grown season, maybe. Um, but I really just want to focus on getting the plot finished. Uh, I want to really just get it, get it finished digging over and that, and, and getting all the, the little things done. That, getting the, uh, like that bed finished, uh, getting some compost in there and getting it all dug in. Yeah, because I've not had a, I've not had the chance to get, to go up and see about getting some kill manure. Yeah, kill dung, whatever you used to call it. Kill muck or, <laughs> people call it all different things. Yeah, just because of the been busy and um, coming up to Christmas as well, so yeah. But I uh, that's a uh, uh, so the first video will be the sewing of the onions and uh, then the video after that will be probably be the uh, well, I'll try and edit the sewing of them and the pricking, the pricking out them out video together. And so then I'm not having to make two separate videos. I could just put it as one video. Eh? Um, and then the next video will be the will be the sewing of the will be like the. The brassicas, eh, like the collies, the um, broccoli, cabbage, and kale. We'll try kale this year. Yeah, so I'll try and edit that out. Oh, in fact, no, it'll be the onions, they'll be the red and the white onions, and also I've got banana shorts. So that's the three things that'll be getting, um, the videos that'll be getting done eh, in the next month. I just remembered that there that I got banana schlots this year, so um, get they done. Also, I haven't I haven't um, I haven't a uh, ordered the rest of my seed yet as well, so still got that to do. Once I get them ordered, once they are kind of ordered, I'll uh, be sewing them. And the reason I want to sew them pretty early is for a. Uh, to be able to get like a. So, I saw them in February, about the start of February, and then by the time it gets to March or something, they can be ready to go out about the end of March, middle of March, which then uh, means that uh, I'm hoping to sew a second batch, a second batch of a. Uh, Brassicas, uh, brassicas, and then um, once they're they have been picked, they will harvested. The second ones will go in at the back of them, and then once they've been picked, the uh, winter veg will go in, and then so that's that's basically. Right, uh, so the veg I'm going to be we're going to be growing next year is obviously peas. Peas. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the kind of that kind of A-frame shape. I'm just going to do a, a straight wall, build a wee wall with a chicken wire and canes, and that's where they'll be going. Yeah, I've gone for 
two types of peas so hopefully as I say I'll sow them pretty early as well and then uh, once they're ready I'll put their crop at the back of them and then I'll be the onions so I went for red, white onion, shallots I went for the garlic uh, I'm going to do the spring onions, leeks uh, the different types of cabbage the cabbage, collard, broccoli kale, sprouts just everything <laughs> and also I've got squash and baby pumpkin as well to do so um, hopefully get it all done and hopefully do better next year and get a good crop so anyway guys that's the dahlias done that's how i do my dahlias um what i'll do i just got like a wee handle there so i'll take the handle uh, what does i'll just do that just kind of in. And then I'll go and put that in the in the, the coal house and that'll be them for over winter. So yeah guys um we are leaving at the 40 minutes on the, the video. Um that's all I always want to show you. That's how I do my deal years. And this is how much compost has came off them. So that'll get that'll get chucked in the bag for it to go to the veg plot, and then uh, hopefully the weather goes good. We don't get another storm, and the uh, hopefully everybody has a, a good Christmas, and um, oh, wishes all a good Christmas and uh, a happy new year when it. And hopefully Santa's good to you. <laughs> and uh, don't get spoiled too much. Uh, it's just a shame that we kind of have a, a normal Christmas because of this COVID. Um, it's really buggered things up. But hopefully, hopefully it starts to disappear and we all start getting back to normal. Uh, by the moment, um, there, a lot of places are going on lockdown again, so hopefully we don't. Yeah, we maybe, maybe might know, you yeah, maybe know. And yeah, so hopefully everybody just has a good Christmas. Just forget about this year, enjoy the end of the year, yeah, and just celebrate it yeah, as best you could. Yeah, keep yourself safe and. Uh, we got to socialise <laughs> and yeah I should hopefully see you on the next video and uh, I hope everybody does well and we'll catch you later bye